Hello Flutter Monkeys! So today I am going to do a video that is going to explain the albums that have changed my life really over the last couple of years. Just the ones that have been featured in my life a lot and what I've really just been listening to. These artists, they are my favourites and these albums have inspired my music. I'll leave links in the description below for where you can buy all of these albums. So the first album that I'm going to mention to you, it is the New Moon soundtrack. Is it glaring? It's not. Okay, there we go. Um, this album, it is one that I had in my selection for almost a year before I actually listened to it and got to know the songs and when I did I just realised that the the indie rock sound to it, I, I just love it. It's an all round feel good kind of album. To me this album has been kind of a hidden gem. So I encourage you to pick up an album that you haven't really listened to but you bought thinking that it was going to be good because your expectations are probably yet to be met. Album number two that I'm mentioning, this is pretty obvious why it is Ed Sheeran's album that is entitled with the symbol of a plus sign. I've never had a particular name for it myself, it's just the orange one really. I love the acoustic feel to it and the lyrics just being original and it, it's encouraged me to just keep going and the humbleness that it has about what he does it, it, it's all about the music and that's what I want to portray with what I do it's not a facade I really just am about the music the third album that I am mentioning to you today it is this one right here Taylor Swift Fearless now this album I I somewhat owe my life to, so thank you Taylor for inspiring me so much over the past years. I first got this in 2009 and this album, it just, all of the songs, I just, you know, I just, how do I say this? Thank you Taylor for showing me that it is actually possible because I've been suppressing this desire to be a musician for so long because it was said that it was impossible but I don't care and even if I am from the bottom of the world I'm still gonna do it I'm still gonna make it out there and and thank you guys for being the ones that are actually watching and, and getting to know me and my music album number four is English Rain by, sorry if I pronounced this wrong, Gabrielle Applin. So I was sitting in the library at school with my iPod and I was just skimming through iTunes and I saw it and I was like, oh this is interesting. So it's a good work with the album artwork. I, I, I you know, it, it attracted me to get the album. And I listened to just one song. It was Home. So I listened to this one song and I said bye album. I was absolutely in love and the whole, the, it's the indie folk feeling of it. I just, oh, I love Angus Rain. And exciting news, Gabrielle Eplin is releasing a new album very soon. So yay, I'm going to know, I, I know that I'm going to love it. Another album that I just knew I was going to love, this is Black Bear from Andrew Bell. I'm sure I was the first person in the world to buy this album on iTunes. I was watching it pop up and because New Zealand is the first people to see the sun, the timeline, I was the first to buy it in the first country that had the ability to buy it. So. I don't know, I mean, I could be the first person that had it, but otherwise who cares because it's just a great album and the reason that I love Black Bear so much is just because all of the songs 
they sound so similar. At first, it was like, when I first listened to it, I, I, I went through every track and it was like, everything sounds the same. But once you get to know the songs, they're all so different and tell such different stories, even though it sounds quite similar. So that's one thing that I've learned from albums, is that you can have your own kind of theme to how it sounds. Which leads me on to album number six. It is the same artist, Andrew Bell, The Ladder. I listened to this album every morning when I woke up during 2012 and I was just in love with the sound of it. I just, I don't know what it was. Maybe it's the accent, maybe it's, I don't know. <laughs> Andrew Bell, if you ever watch this, I am so in love with your music and we need to collaborate one day. Please? Album number seven, this is one that I just have to mention without a doubt, it's the soundtrack to The Vampire Diaries. Now I don't really just mean the one album that was released on iTunes with a brief description of how it sounds because basically in my iTunes library I have a playlist for about every song so far from season one through season five. The music there is just so amazing and it is my ambition in life to get one of my songs onto the soundtrack of The Vampire Diaries because The Vampire Diaries has been my favorite TV show. I've therefore loved the music and you know it's a little bit like propaganda but I've been showing the music through the show and then I would go and find the music and it would introduce me to the artist. Basically I love everything that goes on the soundtrack of the Vampire Diaries so good work with the people selecting the music. The next album that I'm going to talk to you about it is Symmetry from New Empire. Um, I have this one here, which is actually the previous one. Look at you guys, you're so young. I watched a video today promoting the new album that is that you guys are releasing. I'm so excited to hear that. Basically, Symmetry, I just loved listening to the stories with every single song and the, the vibe about it, you know, soft rock. I was first introduced with New Empire when I heard them at Samstock and from then on the festival hasn't even been so great but I saw you guys at Parachute the following year so that was all good. Next album is Ellie Golding, Bright Lights. This was the album that really showed her off to begin with and since then everything's changed but I just really love the vibe about this album it just says to me colour and fun artistic license excitement and all of that stuff I, I just love it another album that has inspired me a whole lot it is Katy Perry's Teenage Dream this album is just incredibly diverse and exciting the different sides to a person that we can be creative and dark and fun and, and all those kind of things just you know everybody's human and everybody's awesome in some way. The next album that I want to talk to you about technically isn't an album but it's all of Nina Nesbitt's EPs from the beginning I was introduced to her all last year, so I went and got all the EPs together. I, I just love Nina Nesbitt's music, all of it, from The Apple Tree to Boy to Stay Out, and it's really inspired mine a lot, I think, in the last year. Lungs! Florence and the Machine. This album is so artistic, and I just love the feel of it, drumming song, it, and and Robert Hart, just the, the harps and the drums and the violins and being creative with introducing lots of different instruments. I just love how that's been done and 
I am so excited for the future of my music that anything is possible and that there are no limits to what can be added in to just make a track so much greater. The next album that I have found to be quite inspiring to my own music is the soundtrack to Angus Thong's Imperfect Snow Game. I love the movie and I love the actors and I love everything that is British. So I just love the carefree feeling that this album gives. Everything's quite similar and even though it's so diverse with all the different songs and different artists, somehow there's a connection between them all and it's just a feeling of being free and, and fun and just, yeah, that excitement again. I also have to mention the Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe score. This was done by Harry Gregson Williams and I think this was the first album that I ever purchased on an iTunes store. I love scores. I, I love movies mostly because of the scores and music so important in films. But I've also really loved the songs that are from the credits at the end. It's just such beautiful music and I love it. It's incredible. Last album, Avalanche City, A New Life Above the Ground. This album has influenced my own music a lot and it's just one of my favourites because um, Dave Baxter, he's a Kiwi artist. Here ended the video. I hope you have enjoyed finding out what makes my music sound the way it does. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Social media links are in the description below. And also comment below which of these albums are your favourites. Or maybe they might be completely different and you can remind me of what other ones that I do love as well. Thanks for watching. Bye. Now as some of you do know already, I did promise that I would only do this video when I had 100 subscribers. But I can't be bothered waiting. I don't know what I'm saying. So yeah, I just love the uh, Oh, you're gonna be Why do I have to love so much music?